Level 23 of Natus for the Over the Wire War Game gets into a little bit of PHP variable type misunderstanding. Because um, see, I'm actually looking at the source code in the web page here because they're doing a little bit of the PHP highlight file um, where they're, they they throw a bunch of like span characters or HTML stuff that's not that good to look at in Sublime Text. So I'm back in the website here in, in the Firefox in a web browser. Um, but we're determining, okay, if we've submitted to a, the form here, which asks us, do we want to enter a password? And the PHP code tests if that key exists, if we've actually submitted the form. Is there a stir stir or a string string, whatever PHP function that is, and is the request password greater than 10? So this stir stir looks like it's kind of comparing something like the requested password with the string, I love you. And, and, so, and, obviously, this both of these conditions must be returned true to actually be retrieving the credentials for the next level, password uh, for Natus24. So I wanted to check out what these things were. I wanted to see, okay, what is PHP stir stir? <laughs> and it looks like that will find the first occurrence of a string, and it will return part of a haystack string starting to, starting from and including the first occurrence of the needle to the end of the haystack. Okay. And that greater than 10 thing is interesting because that's expecting that request password to be an integer, but we're using it as a string over here in this context. So how do we get around this? Um, interesting thing is that PHP type conversions, um, PHP doesn't entirely care really what your variable really is it all depends on what context you're using it in or how you're testing things with it. PHP does not require support explicit type definition and variable declarations. A variable types determined by the context in which the variable is being used. So that is to say, if string value is assigned to variable var, var becomes a string. If an integer variable is assigned to var, it becomes an integer. That's cool because it's dynamic typesetting and stuff like that. But it's also interesting when you're using comparison operators or just assignment operators on them. So I'll shut up and I'll show you what I mean. If we get back into our Python code, we'll go ahead and request this page with the get function. But if we wanted to post to this page, we can change the method there, set data to have the password, and we'll set it to that string, I love you. So this will return wrong after I include a comment or a comma there, because we're not getting that same uh, greater than 10 thing. In this case, we're seeing that string, I love you, that the string password interpreted as a string. And when it's being tested as less than or greater than 10, it's just going to be nothing really, or a zero. I don't, I don't entirely know. I'll admit what PHP will evaluate it to. However, if we were to give it some numbers here, like if we were to say 10, PHP is going to start to think that this first part here, when you're interpreting it as a number, as an integer, that's going to be what takes precedence if you interpret it as a number. So weird thing, right? What if I were to say, oh, 11, I love you, because 11 is greater than 10, and the I love you string is still in there, it'll return true on both of those cases. 11 is greater than 10, and I love you is in the string. It's returning that needle and the rest of the haystack, so it gets it just fine. Here we go. The credentials for the next level are password for Natus24. Okay, let's snag that. But keep that in mind, because PHP type juggling is seen like everywhere in a lot of web challenges and in CTF style stuff. Um, and I'm sure you'll probably run into it in the wild, because PHP is still out there um, like crazy. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Weird, weird oddities with PHP. That stuff gets into like magic hashes, etc. Um, and PHP is just a bundle of bugs depending on <laughs> on who you ask and what opinions you get but that is the solution for natus 23 let's save this for a script for natus 24 and we will move on to see what's next in this level Are we get in the page perfect all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. Uh, if you did like the video, please do press that like button. If you want to comment, tell me what you think, what you like, what you didn't like, what I can do better much, how much I suck, etc. Um, if you want to subscribe. And if you would like to support me, please do check out my Patreon account. Want to send a special shout out to the people that are supporting me already. Spencer Clark, thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Um, I try to shout out everyone who does support me if they give anything more than just a dollar. And... Um, 
of five dollars or more will let you i'll showcase uh, everything that i upload to youtube as early as i can so even if it's scheduled for upload later i'll give it to you early access so thanks for watching guys see you soon